what we realize is that India is a country of a lot of rich culture and a lot of that manifests itself through cuisines. So India has innumerable cuisines, whether you go to North, South, West, East or Mid-India. Mid but what we realized is that over the years, a lot of the chefs are not being able to preserve that heritage and that heritage is going away. We felt there was a genuine need to provide a credible platform to home chefs who do not have the resources themselves to help promote them and to help preserve the heritage cuisines of India. In that, to that effect, we have created a food group and how it is different from other groups is that we are not charging anything, we're not putting any foundations on home chefs, we're letting them freely promote their cuisines and what they're offering. But the only distinction we're doing is that we are providing them a platform to showcase their talent to actual people who will buy food and who are discerning lovers of heritage food. Essentially what happens is in Western countries there are thousands and thousands of home chefs who are all celebrities in their own right. But we found that in India there's an entry barrier and there is only some 15-20 chefs who are very well known, who have the you know, money and the finances to promote themselves in media. And these unsung home chefs, you know, who actually preserve traditions of their family cuisines for over hundreds of years, they do not have the chance to showcase that talent. So the, these are the unsung heroes who are actually try, trying to preserve a culture, a food culture. And for us, they are the real heroes and we want to promote them. We want to give them a platform to take them national as well as international. And we want to create at least 30 such home chefs, uh, you know, give them that credibility and recognition globally every year. At Scotch Group, a lot of us are actually food lovers and a lot of us are part of food communities and we love sharing our recipes, we love sharing our cooking, we love looking at what other people are doing. But we realized over a certain period of time that a lot of groups, a lot of online platforms have a lot of restrictions and censorship on what you can post. So all the home chefs were not being able to post what they were actually cooking and not being able to share that with the audience. So we thought there's a def definite need to provide these people with a credible platform where they can showcase the talent, where they can showcase the dishes and they don't have that censorship. They have that freedom to show and the audience is an audience which appreciates their heritage food and is able to also buy from them and order from them. So that is the difference, that is the need gap we felt. Today is a celebration of North Indian cuisine and we have five chefs who specialize in North Indian cuisine who are actually curating over 40 dishes for tonight's dinner and uh, this is just the starting and the launch and we aim to take this much bigger. We may be doing food festivals with governments which are specific to promoting their cuisines. We may be going into an India food forum for Scotch because Scotch provides a lot of credibility that is established over the last 20 years and we want to let that credibility also manifest itself in the food category. Today's initiative to launch for love of food and also to introduce the Scotch India Food Forum has been a great success. We had a great mix of guests from corporate leaders to the government leaders and also some of the finest home chefs and we only see this going much bigger as we go forward.